Star Wars fans were rewarded more handsomely than Han Solo after saving a princess as they got their first real look at Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> The first teaser trailer for Episode 9 reveals quite a bit about the final chapter in this trilogy, including the return of a familiar villain. Here's everything cool we noticed in this new footage. No one's ever really gone. The trailer opens with an extended shot of Rey on a desert planet getting ready to face down a TIE fighter. Maybe that's Kylo Ren piloting it, but that's not his specialized fighter. The shot reminds us a lot of the original Force Awakens teaser and how it opened with Finn on Jakku. It's possible Rey has returned to Jakku to bring her journey full circle. However, the planet's rocky terrain is different from the sandy dunes of Jakku, so it could be Tatooine or a brand new desert planet. A number of other shots in the trailer also appear to be taking place on this desert world as we see C-3PO, Finn, and Poe, and what appears to be a deadly speeder chase. We even see some sand skiffs reminiscent of the ones Jabba used in Return of the Jedi. Clearly, this planet is going to play a major role in the movie, and it may even serve as the site of the final battle between the Resistance and the First Order. We hear a new voiceover from Luke Skywalker in these early shots. We've passed on all we know. A thousand generations live in you now. Luke's Force Ghost seems to be communing with Rey, reflecting on how the Jedi of old have done everything they can to prepare her for the hardships to come, and officially passing the torch to the next generation of heroes. The fact that Luke says we in this voiceover could suggest that other Force Ghosts are present, like Yoda or maybe even Obi-Wan. We also see that Rey has rebuilt Luke's lightsaber after it was ripped in half in The Last Jedi. The trailer gives us quick glimpses of some original trilogy and sequel favorites like Lando piloting the Millennium Falcon and Rey hugging Leia. We know that Episode 9 will feature unused Leia footage, so this may be an alternate take of the similar hugging scene from the end of The Force Awakens. The shot shows off a new planet that features a large city built up in a steep rocky area. Here's Kylo Ren leading a First Order charge on a forested planet. Here we see Ben repairing the helmet he shattered in The Last Jedi. While his overall costume looks to be the same, that red scarred helmet will give him a dangerous new look in the sequel. Here's BB-8 with a new droid companion named Dio. We can't help but notice that R2-D2 is completely absent from this footage. We can see in this shot that the Falcon has a new radar dish. Here's a quick shot of a Resistance A-Wing fighter. Here we see Leia holding one of the medallions she awarded to Luke and Han at the end of the original Star Wars. Between that and the emphasis on John Williams' Luke and Leia theme in the soundtrack, there's a clear nostalgia for the good old days in this teaser. Here's a glimpse of what might be First Order jump troopers or a group of bounty hunter mercenaries. This shot is one of the most revealing in the trailer, as Rey and friends look on at a shattered hunk of the Death Star. Depending which Death Star this is, they must either be on Yavin 4 or the forest moon of Endor. Either way, the nasty climate suggests the planet isn't doing so well after having massive chunks of the space station crash into it. We also get a major villain reveal as the sinister laughter strongly suggests Emperor Palpatine is returning. <laughs> That and the fact that Ian McDiarmid made a surprise appearance at Star Wars Celebration's Episode 9 panel. Whether as a resurrected villain or a Force ghost, Palpatine looks to have one more part to play as Disney wraps up the Skywalker saga. Based on these reveals, we guess Rey and friends are trying to find something in the wreckage of the second Death Star, possibly some relic of Palpatine's or even Palpatine's body itself, and it's probably safe to assume they're trying to find it before the First Order does. For more Star Wars goodness, check out our response to the trailer and fans reacting to the first look at the rise of Skywalker. And as always, be sure to subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.